I love doing these transformation videos. They take a little bit longer, but they're so much fun to show how I go from looking like this to looking like this. Now I've speeded things up a lot for you so that you're not bored watching the process. And it is a short video, only eight minutes. In real time, it took about 45 minutes to do this, but if I wouldn't have been playing around with my video camera, I probably could have done it in 30. So basically up to this point, I've just evened out my skin tone and made sure that I have a blank canvas to start with. And then I'm using a little bit of my contour cream to just give my face a little bit more dimension. Now I'm gonna fade into the background and let you watch the process and think of any questions that you may have, if any. I'm putting on a liquid lipstick here. I like these because when they dry, they don't go into those fine lines around my mouth and I don't have to use a lip liner with them. And then later on, you'll see that I've actually used a lipstick to go over that because they can be a little drying after a couple of hours. And then I went ahead and used the same lipstick for my cheek color. To sharpen the cheek area, I just use a little concealer. And if you try this, or if you normally do this, just make sure that you're concealer that's below and your concealer that you place above near your temple, make sure that those are running parallel. Otherwise, your face can look very confusing and a little out of whack. And then I'm just brightening the center of my face. And things weren't blending the way I wanted to, so I grabbed my sponge and just kind of blended things out as I was going. And I like to do a little highlight down the center of my nose. And then remember when I said that I had used a liquid lipstick and then I went over it with a different lipstick and that's what I'm doing here. And I found this cream shadow stick that's supposed to be self setting and I thought I would try that. And then I accidentally used my concealer brush instead of my blending brush. So I actually added concealer over the top of it. So it, it looks a little funny and it's gonna take me a little extra effort to get that blended out. But this is real makeup and how it works, you know, when we're doing it every day. And really the way that you get good at makeup is to figure out how to fix your mistakes, just like everything else in life, right? And I don't normally use a lot of eyeliners. I like to use these waterproof sticks for eyeliner because they're really creamy and they're easy to blend out. So I'm just adding some black in there, like a soft, soft eyeliner. And then I'm going in with a lighter color right there on my inner eye. And I realized that I'm gonna have to set all of this in place with powder shadows, which is fine. Honestly, it'll just make it a little deeper color and it'll make it look more concentrated and pretty. Now, honestly, if you hadn't seen the final product, you'd probably be thinking, oh dear God, why am I watching this woman? And that's why I always tell everybody, I'm really sloppy when I put on makeup. It's just at the very last couple of minutes that all of my looks come together. And that's in real life or when I'm doing, you know, fun pretend makeup too. And I have always loved playing in the makeup from the moment I was allowed to wear it. I absolutely loved makeup. And if you've seen any of my videos by now, you know that I love natural makeup and that's really my go-to for an everyday look. But I like to do these fun looks too. And in a small way, I hope that they sort of inspire you if you like to play in the makeup and you know, maybe just gave it up for some reason or you just love to play in the makeup and always did. You know, it's great to have friends online that like to do the same thing. And I think it's very valuable way to learn things just by watching other people. You don't even have to listen to what they say. I remember when I was a young woman, my girlfriends and I would get together to do a double date or something. And, and it was so much fun because we'd all cram in a bathroom and, you know, we'd be taking turns with the mirror and trying to help each other. And, and just from watching my girlfriends, you know, I learned a lot. And now some of my girlfriends from even back when I was a teenager watch me sometimes. And so that's really, really cool. 
One of the things that I love about being on social media is that you make these great connections with people. And I have so many friends, even on YouTube already. I have friends on YouTube and I have friends on TikTok. And it's so much fun because you make friends with people that you have a kinship with and you never even met them. So if you've watched like 10 of my videos and we've been chatting back and forth, we are friends. We are more than halfway through at this point. And right now is when, you know, I start tweaking everything and really the look starts to come together a little bit more. And for those of you who hung in there, you're going to get to see that really cute wig at the end too. I usually just wear them for fun. So I don't have to put a lot of effort into keeping my wig on. But it is important to have that wig cap like I'm wearing now. That thick band that's around the outside of it actually has a little bit of a like a gripping rubber on it. So you want that to be in contact with a good bit of your skin. And then when you place your wig on, your wig won't slip around and slide off your head. And also if you have a lot of hair, it you know, condenses your hair in there too. And right here I like to finger blend right over top of my eyeshadow so that there's not a harsh straight line. Because I feel like the older I get, the less perfect straight lines look good on my face. Now the description of the video has a full list of products. If you scroll down just a little ways, it'll say today's makeup, and then it has everything there listed with links. If I miss something or you're not sure how to get there, you can just put a comment in and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And if you're on a mobile device and you don't know how to get to the description, you can just tap the three little dots that are in the right hand lower corner, and that will take you to the description. And now I'm gonna do a little styling on my wig. But I am really, really lazy, so I pretty much just use a great hairspray, and that's it. And when I say a great hairspray, I mean a great hairspray that'll hold it in place, not that's necessarily good for your hair. Styling a wig is not difficult. You just have to know the style you're after, and then go for it as if it was your own hair, and force that stuff into submission. While I finish up here, I just wanted to take a sec and say thanks so much for watching the video. Thank you if you're subscribed. I really appreciate the time that you take when you leave me beautiful comments and even when you leave questions and things. I try to help as many people as I can. Anyway, we've got 30 more seconds. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.